Yo, he did not. He did not just bribe that person to break his fast. A stuck for a lot. Yo, what is he doing, bro? You're literally bribing a poor person with money to break their fast. What is wrong with you? You're literally testing his iman with money, bro. Oh my God. Way of life has cute. Even in hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Boy oh boy, do we have a juicy one for you today. Before we jump in this video about how a famous YouTuber bribed people in the month of Ramadan to break their fast, I need to let you know that over 55% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I need you to go right now and subscribe. Yeah, you. I'm yeah, I'm talking to you. Subscribe right now and hit that bell as well. Recently, a Indonesian Muslim YouTuber's video just went viral for all the wrong reasons. This video received an immediate backlash which caused a prompt removal of that video. This YouTuber has a massive following on social media and on YouTube. This YouTuber has received a ton of criticism for being unethical and insensitive to people's needs. So here's what happened. So an Indonesian YouTuber by the name of Hassan recently released a a YouTube video in which he tried to make a social experiment. He would go up to random strangers who were on the poverty line and offer them 10 million rupiahs in exchange for them breaking their fast. The criticism he's receiving is during this pandemic, people have lost their jobs and are in economic need. Them and their families are struggling right now. And this YouTuber has been accused of exploiting their poverty. The purpose of the social experiment was to test the people's faith that even though these people are poor and being offered a significant amount of money, 10 million rupees, they still would not break their faith and sacrifice their deen for the dunya. So he would go up to these strangers and offer them money in exchange for them breaking their fast. And it was to test their faith whether they were going to succumb to their need of the money and their dunya necessity, or are they gonna hold on to their deen? Now, as you can imagine, for someone who is poverty stricken, that is an extremely large test. In the final edit of the video, no one was shown taking the money and breaking their fast, which makes it look like, wow, mashallah, people's deen and iman is so strong. However, what doesn't make the final cut of the video is how people did take the money and broke their fast. Those clips never made it to the final cut of the YouTube video, but people have now surfaced admitting that they took the money and broke their fast. You see, when you're testing people with their livelihood, and it's not like you're asking some millionaire, billionaire people, you're asking farmers, you're asking poverty-stricken people who are in desperate need of money. If you're coming to them with an opportunity for them to earn money in exchange for breaking their fast, you're putting them through a huge fitna. So this was a clear attempt to go viral and it was successful, but he went viral for the wrong reasons. With so much popularity and so much money to give, this brother can honestly be changing people's lives and be doing cool experiments in Indonesia, which he actually gives to people. And guess what? He has done experiments like that. But clearly this experiment was just in bad taste and just was not a good social experiment. Now, I don't know how you feel about this, but I want to hear your voice in the comment section below. So tell me your thoughts and feelings when I've just explained this to you because I'm having a ton of mixed thoughts. Exploiting someone's need, necessity, and overall desperation for a resource is never the right thing to do. This is essentially what Christian missionaries have done in third world countries to exploit people's need and necessity for resources. They've promised them a specific need or resource in exchange for converting to their religion. Now, this was just a clear attempt to go viral and he did but for all the wrong reasons. This brings me to a powerful hadith from the Messenger وسلم, where he expresses his fear for the Ummah, for their desire and greed for wealth and fame. They would be willing to sacrifice their beliefs and their values just to get some clout. And he compared this type of greed and desire for wealth and clout to two hungry wolves being let loose amongst a flock of sheep. He feared our desire for obtaining wealth and clout would be more dangerous than two hungry wolves let loose amongst a flock of sheep. Now you gotta understand something. This dude along with other YouTubers are super young. All this money and clout and fame can get to people's heads. At an age where they're still developing and discovering who they are and what their identities are, they're now being thrown into this X factor of social media clout. And honestly, this could be very troublesome for people's imams, which can cause them to sacrifice their beliefs and their values. What this tells us is that 
if you're a young Muslim, YouTuber, influencer, TikToker, whatever, you need a good circle of friends around you. You need good company around you. You need people who will tell you what it is and how it is if you're doing something wrong. You need a strong social circle around you who never cause you to forget who you are. They never allow you to get caught up in the clout and the fame and they keep you grounded by reminding you to fear Allah. A good friend, a good companion around you will always help and remind you to do the right thing when your moral compass might be shaken. Look, we've all made our own share of mistakes. I mean, damn, I've made my own share of mistakes on this platform and off this platform as well. But we're not judged by the choices that we make. We're judged by the choices that we don't make. This bro posting a 30 second clip on his Instagram making a very loose and vague type of apology, it's just not gonna cut it. Any Muslim YouTuber or social influencer or whatever needs to go through an intense process of tazkiyah, which is essentially the purification of your heart and your intentions. Maybe this is an opportunity for this brother and others as well to take a break from social media and use this opportunity of Ramadan to purify their hearts and to really obtain Allah's mercy in this beautiful month. And once Ramadan is over and your spiritual batteries are recharged, come back with a renewed intention and a renewed sense of purpose. The worst thing that we can do, guys, is shame this brother in the comment section below. So I'm advising you all to make a dua for this brother and any other young Muslim YouTuber, influencer who's struggling with their heart their intention and please just make dua for them instead of condemning people and just saying how they're wrong and this and that and trying to kick them out the fold of Islam try to make dua for them this is the beautiful and blessed month of Ramadan so have some mercy on them as this is the month of mercy well Jazak again for watching guys tell me in the comment section below what were your thoughts about this entire fiasco I bet you have some mixed feelings but drop them in the comment section below if you don't know already every single day in the month of Ramadan I'm going on my Instagram live and performing an Islamic quiz where you can win actual prizes. The entire goal behind that is to increase your Islamic knowledge, draw some excitement, some entertainment, and perhaps get you an Eid gift. So make sure you tune into my Instagram every single day in the month of Ramadan from 6 p.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern for some halal entertainment, to gain some knowledge, and to perhaps win some prizes. Make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up so that YouTube can promote this video and it can help benefit others as well. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting this button right here watch one of my previous videos by hitting one of these videos right here and until next time i'm out